How are you doing everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C and if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber yet and this is your first time here, if you're looking for the latest in whiskey and bourbon news and reviews, you have come to the right place. So think about hitting that subscribe button uh, and also hit that bell notification so you know when I'm putting out a new video. Today we have something really exciting. It's a brand new bourbon from a new distillery called Wilderness Trail. But even though what's in this bottle may be new, the guys behind it I have been in the industry for many years. So before we get into the review, uh, Wilderness Trail is located in Danville, Kentucky and released this bourbon and a rye in April 2018. But rather than finding a colorful story to tell about why they started their distillery, co-founders Shane Baker and Patrick Heist are emphasizing the scientific pursuit of distilling great whiskey and have been rock stars in the business for years. Pretty literally. So Baker, who is a mechanical engineer, and Heist, who is a PhD in microbiologist and a biochemist, initially paired up in the 1990s playing in a grunge and hard rock cover band. My kind of dudes. <laughs> Their initiation to whiskey making, however, started with a consulting company called Firm Solutions, which they founded in 2006. So Baker and Heist made a name for themselves as troubleshooters for distilleries around the world, helping clients start distilleries, consulting on bacterial contamination, developing mash bills, analyzing grain quality, yeast strains, and fermentation. So while they can't disclose the names of their clients, Patrick High says, you can walk into pretty much any liquor store, walk down the aisle, stop, and be within arm's reach of a brand that they've worked with. So being relatively new, Wilderness Trail's 44-acre facility has three rickhouses with a fourth that's already under construction that will bring a total storage capacity to 55,000 barrels. The distillery houses three Vendome stills, a 250-gallon hybrid pot column still, which produced their first batches of bourbon but is now used primarily to make their rum and vodka. And they also have an 18 and 36-inch continuous column stills, which produce the majority of distillery's output right now. Another important distinction is that their steam is chemical free because they use a clean steam boiler, which is the first Kentucky bourbon distillery to do so. So this means with this process, they avoid using boiler chemicals or off flavors. Only pure steam goes into their cooker and into their beer column in the distillation process. So another quick highlight that I want to share, which is actually right on the side of the bottle, um, is the fact that they use a sweet mash. So although Louisville, Kentucky's Peerless Distillery uses a sweet mash to create its rye and bourbon, Baker and Heist believe that Wilderness Trail was the first Kentucky distillery to embrace the process as the sole mashing technique. In fact, Baker and Heist assisted Peerless in selecting their use strains and designing their sweet mash process. So sweet mashing is meant to produce a softer, cleaner distillate rather than the practice of sour mashing where a small amount of fermented mash is included in the following batch. So Heiss explains sour mashing is often used for bacterial control, but you lose the flavor consistency in the stillage. With sweet mashing, the yeast, grains, and water are consistent from batch to batch. All right guys, so before we get into the review, uh, take a closer look at this bottle, it's pretty cool. And I just wanna mention a few things. The, so this is offered as a single barrel and a bottled in bond, which is two usual special releases, but it's in one bottle here. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, this, uh, this bottle and bond release has a mash bill of 64% corn, 24% wheat, and 12% malted barley. This is one of the highest ratios of wheat used in a bourbon made in Kentucky. Uh, also, which is pretty cool, their corn, wheat, and rye grains are also sourced locally in Kentucky from Caverndale Farms for flavor consistency. So I got this bottle for $46 uh, in Kentucky, and this, was a, this is a 750 milliliter bottle. This is also non-chill filtered, which is pretty cool. And this happens to be bottle 131 of 250. Um, it gives you the barrel number right here on the front, as you saw in the close-up, which I always love. So uh, let's uh, get into this here. Now, what piqued my interest about this bottle, oh, nice pop. Ooh, that smells good. <laughs> what piqued my interest about this bottle was um, being someone that kind of, kind of scours the secondary market every now and then. I saw this bottle on there going for about 100 bucks or even double, sometimes triple the price. So as soon as I saw it, I grabbed it wanting to know what it was all about, and that led me into my research. So let's get a pour, guys. All right. Now, being 100 proof, gonna let this open up a little bit. All right, guys, let's get into the nose here. Wow. 
Wow, really nice nose of soft corn. It's very sweet. This has a really nice dark caramel and honey flavor on the nose too. You're getting that vanilla. It's not too hot on the nose either being 100 proof. It's got a really nice nose. Oh, and then there's this underlying apple and pear type uh, note on there. Mmm, the nose is really nice. All right, cheers, let's get into the palate, guys. Wow. Wow, there's a really, really, ooh, it's still going here, the finish, it's got a nice finish. Extremely upfront, I got corn and then toasted pecans right off the bat. Really, really nice. All right, let's go for that second sip, see what other uh, flavors I can pull out. Wow. Definitely toasted pecans, still going. Now you're getting some caramel in there. There's a nice uh, caramel coated apple flavor to it, a candy apple. But like I said, like dark caramel. Then it's finishing with really nice vanilla notes. Wow, this is, uh, this, this bourbon's really taking me places. <laughs> really good. All right, let's go in for one more sip here. Wow, really good. This is really nice. All right, so front of the palate, sweet corn works its way to the mid palate. You're getting that caramel covered apple flavor, candy coated apple. You're getting some of the honey, vanilla. And then the finish is really nice. It's, it's medium to long. It really gives you a nice finish on it, and, and there you're getting that more of that honey, more of that caramel flavor on the finish. Oh, and, then, and then that little hint of chocolate you're getting, I'm getting it on the finish too. That's where I'm mainly getting it, a little burst of chocolate there. Really, really good. Definitely more sweet than oak, but the sweet flavors in here are just kind of evolving and, and kind of taking you all over the place. It's got a really nice mouth coating too. It's really wanting me to go in and take some more sips of this. It's a really nice dram. Mm. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a very clean, uh, I know that sounds weird to say, but you're not getting any of those I know it's not overly oaked or anything, you're just getting a nice, flavor, like clean flavors of vanilla, honey, caramel apple, toasted pecans, that, that finish is medium to long. This is a really, really, really nice bourbon. I'm really loving this. So now from what I read, uh, Baker and Heist, the two co-owners, uh, you know, they've been in the business so long that they're gonna be experimenting with uh, around 6,000 different yeast strains. They have a huge library of yeast strains and you know they've collected them over the years. So with them to incorporating some of those yeast strains into some of their new bourbons that are gonna be coming out, and also I know they wanna, from doing some research, they want to expand with doing some barrel finishing. You know, I think we could expect some amazing things from these guys. Wow, really, really great bourbon. Yeah, for 45 bucks, I would put this against a lot of other great weeded bourbons. This is a really, really, really good bourbon. I'm really enjoying this. And if you come across it for 45 bucks, I encourage you to pick it up. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching the Master Drum Whiskey Room. I really appreciate you stopping by, watching this great review on Wilderness Trail Bottled and Bond Bourbon. Um, if you haven't yet already, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Um, also, find me on Instagram. I love chatting with everybody on Instagram. And also, find me on Twitter now. And really hope you enjoyed this video. And like I always say, it is not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So cheers, everyone, and I'll see you next time.